Hi. In the ninth part, we are continuing with constructors in Java. In the previous part, we already see what is a constructor, how to create a constructor in Java, how a constructor works. In this part, I am going to explain what are the type of constructors. Here I am going to explain what are the type of constructors in Java. Generally there are two type of constructors available in Java. First one is default constructor. A default constructor is nothing but a constructor without any argument is called a default constructor. The example we are already see in the previous part is an example for default constructor. Here is the class my class. Here is a constructor is present here. You can see there is no argument passed in this class because this is a default constructor. This is an example for a default constructor because there is no argument present for this constructor. The second one is parameterized constructor. Constructor with arguments is called a parameterized constructor. Constructor with arguments. Okay. Now I'm going to change this example and now I am going to uh, explain an example with a parameterized constructor so uh, I just used the previous example here is a default constructor is already present here and there is a string is present with the name demo here we are already uh, initialize a uh, value for the uh, variable demo so now I just change the variable assign from assign from default constructor okay now I am going to I just delete all this stuff okay here now here a default constructor is present and within that constructor the variable demo is initializing here assigned from default constructor now I am going to create a parameterized constructor here for the same class so here is a parameterized constructor I just create an argument here string demo itself now I am going to assign the value of the demo here demo is the argument the name of the argument or parameter is same as the name of the variable so there is a problem for solving this problem there is a pointer called uh, this pointer is present in Java the, this pointer resolve the collision or the confusion between the arguments of a constructor or a method and the actual class variables so here the actual class variable is demo so this is the variable of this class 
so we using this pointer here this dot demo means this means object of this class this is a pointer which will represent the object of the current class so this dot demo means it is a variable from this class my class that is demo is equal to here demo is the argument now this is the argument from this constructor okay now you can see in this class my class there is a variable called a string variable demo is present here there is a default constructor is present within that default constructor I just assign a value direct here also there is a parameterized constructor is present here A parameterized constructor is present here. There is an argument within that constructor. From that argument, I just assign the class variable here. Now I am going to overwrite this constructor. So here is the object. Here is the class object is already created here. There is no arguments in this bracket. That's why by executing this statement the compiler will automatically invoke the default constructor invoke default constructor now I plan to invoke the parameterized constructor also Here I just already I just create a method called uh, public public string display. I just create a method here that will display the value of the variable demo sorry to return the value of the variable demo return demo okay now I am going to <coughs> invoke the parameterized constructor for that I just create another object of that class my class an is equal to new my class but it will it definitely contain a string so here I just pass a string from parameterized constructor okay now I just create two, two object here first object is uh, there is no argument present in that object declaration that means it will automatically invoke the default constructor of that class the second statement contain the second object creation statement contain an argument so the constructor will search for a constructor with one string argument so here is the constructor with the one string argument so it automatically invoke this parameterized constructor so here it is the invoke parameter parameterized constructor okay <coughs> now I just invoke the display method after calling by using the object them I just call the display method system dot out dot print to ln m dot display okay now I am again going to invoke the display method by using this parameterized object called n 
system dot out dot println end dot display okay now again take a closer look of this program here is the uh, my class which will contain a variable called demo there is a display method is present here that will return the value of the demo variable there is a default constructor is present here I just assign from default constructor there is a variable is assigned to the variable string variable demo also there is a parameter is constructor is present here the parameter is constructor contain a string argument that will assign to the class variable demo here is the main class here is the main method here is the default constructor invocation here is an object creation of the class without any argument and I just invoke the display method using that object here is the parameterized constructor of the class by using that object I again invoke the display method ok guys again take a closer look of this program ok now I am going to save this program I just going to compile it Java C constructor demo dot Java there is one other is plus error percent here here is the mic ok I just forgot to comment these statements again I save this program now compile it cannot find symbol parameterized to constructor Okay, again there is again some arrows are present here I just save it again and compile it cannot find symbol parameterized constructor again I just compile it Java C constructor demo dot Java ok there is a error present here here is the small letter small c again save again compile it ok now the program is successfully compiled now I am going to run this program java constructor demo now you can see the output is obtained correctly assigned from default constructor and now the call from parameterized constructor so in this program there are two type of constructors are present the default and the parameterized constructors are present here Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel for further video updates. Thank you for watching.